Maps serve as visual tools to represent the real world, and their appearance can differ based on their purpose, required detail, and available resources. When using Geographic Information Systems GIS, it's essential to understand the elements that make up a map and how to simplify or generalize these elements for effective communication. Key Geometric Elements in Maps In GIS, maps predominantly consist of three basic geometric shapes, points, lines, and polygons. Point, represented by X and Y coordinates, similar to longitude and latitude for a specific location. Line, formed by connecting to points. Polygon, a closed shape defined by at least three points. Each of these geometric shapes contains location information, making them integral to any map. Visual customization of geometric elements. Whether simple or intricate, maps can be created using these basic shapes. You can further customize these elements by altering their size, shape, color, and patterns. For example, varying point sizes could indicate population density. Line color or thickness might represent the volume of traffic between locations. Different polygon colors could signify varying land usage types. The role of annotations. Text or annotations complement these visual elements by labeling geographical features like cities, rivers, or landmarks. Text properties such as size, orientation, and color can be adjusted for better readability. Various fonts and styles, like italicizing names of water bodies, add another layer of information. Understanding map legends. Map legends, or keys, serve as guides for interpreting the graphical symbols used on the map. They usually include a title and a breakdown of symbols, colors, and patterns that correspond to various map elements. The need for map generalization. As you add more details and features to a map, it may become cluttered or confusing. This is where map generalization comes in handy. Generalization techniques help in simplifying or emphasizing specific features, removing or displacing less important details for clarity, selecting which features to include or exclude, exaggerating features for emphasis. Choosing the appropriate generalization method depends on your mapping goals, your audience, and sometimes even personal preference. Final thought. Mapping is a complex task that involves numerous decisions, from the map scale and projection to the features you include or omit. The blend of science and artistry in cartography not only enhances our geographical understanding, but also enriches our appreciation for the complexity and beauty of maps. Mastering these fundamentals will equip you with the skills needed for effective GIS use and application.